Welcome to my Bookmark Light Tutorial. You can find this project on www.soelectric.org. Here's your first look at the materials you're going to need for this activity. This is my first try at the activity. I was really surprised at how easy it was. Here's a better look at your materials. You're going to need some fabric. I've got scrap fabric. You're going to need some sewing needles. You'll need some conductive thread. You'll need a cell battery casing, small LEDs, a 3 volt battery, CR2032 is what fits in my casing, color pencils, glue, and scissors for this project. Okay. Make sure you locate the positive and negative symbols on the casing and the LED. This will be really important when you attach them together. They must attach positive to positive and negative to negative. Now you'll need to glue your cell casing to your bookmark. You can use Elmer's glue as well, but a glue stick works really well. You'll also need to glue the back of your LED and attach that to your bookmark. Make sure they're secure before you move on to the next task. Pick up your needle and thread. I started on the positive side. I made sure that my knot was in my thread so it wouldn't pull through the fabric. And I went from the back of my bookmark through the positive section. Pull it until it stops and you're going to want to go back through the fabric and loop it around. They suggest about three times. This shows you what they're looking for. Continue sewing until you get to the LED. Once you've reached the LED, you're going to loop it again just like you did at the battery casing. Please make sure you've connected positive to positive or negative to negative. When you're done looping, you're going to want to tie it in a knot just like the beginning. This will make sure that your thread doesn't go anywhere. This is another diagram of what they are expecting, and you will do the same thing to the other side of your bookmark. If you've done it correctly, your bookmark should work. You will attach your battery in the casing. You'll need to locate the on and off switch and turn it on. And there's your light. You can see how the thread goes through the back and through the front. Some troubleshooting. If your light happens not to turn on, it could be because your connective threads are touching and this has caused a short circuit. Make sure when you turn your bookmark over, the threads on the back are not touching. A way to help is put a little glue on each of them to stick them down. Thanks for watching.